Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another One Piece manga review. We got a big one this week. This is chapter 1094, the title, Jace Garcia Saturn of the Five Elders, the Defense Science Warrior God. And we saw what he had to bring. We got Jazz. We got Versen in the building. How you fellas doing? I'll start off with Jazz since, you know, I think I think your bet came true, kind of. Like, like, sort of? Not not all the way, but the two people I wanted in the same mm. room were there. So they were, I'll they were, w. they were, it's I'll so give you, like, okay, so in real life betting, you could have cashed out. Like, once you, like, like, let's say Saturn popped up, Sanji popped up, you could have cashed out right then before, like, he transformed. So, so, mm -hmm. you know, it was like, you know, it could have still been Sanji who affected it. So I'll let you cash out and have a win because that was crazy. He did show up. He did show us his form. You get a yes, dub I on am. that one. I'll give you that yes, one. Yes, Iceki. Also joining us, Verson. How you doing, brother? Doing all right. Doing all right. Uh, well, my AC's out. But that sucks. But I mean, at least it's not, at least it's not like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. We got a cold front moving in literally tomorrow. So mm -hmm. it was like, if it's going to happen. I love it. Yeah, yeah um, it might as well happen now. I'm ready to bust out the sweaters, but oh man, we got a big one today. So I'm just gonna just do the brief summary and then we can dive in because this shit is kind of crazy. It starts off pacifistas, you don't get to get the word. They start defending Bonnie, but there's one. Oh well, no, we'll get to that. Vega Punk uh, crew is rolling through looking for Bonnie. Sanji's like, "You're taking too long. I gotta use my girl daughter to go get her." He goes and finds her, and then we see Bonnie use a near death. Uh, Near death, uh, I guess. Experience. Experience. Yeah, yeah. Near death experience. Yeah. That's her move where people see the end of their lives and basically go to the river sticks and then come back to life. And it's like some real traumatizing shit. One pacifist is still after her because a marine devil who power is anything she rides she controls and she's riding said pacifista but Sanji saves her in the nick of time and then gets him to the Vega tank meanwhile Luffy and Kizaru is still going on and then all of a sudden Saturn pops on the battlefield shit's going crazy people are feeling this intense aura he tells the pacifistas to cease action a pentagram pops up he pops through the magic circle tells these marines like look bro if y'all not of a certain level y'all better not look at me one nigga looked at him his head popped off it was crazy we find out that Saturn's this oni mix between a bull and a, a spider there's a name for it I'm sure Versen knows it he'll talk tell us during the review and then we see Kizaru and Luffy still fighting uh, but Luffy loses a bit of his, you know, stamina. And then the Gorosei is thinking like Mika. And then it just ends with Bonnie stabbing the Gorosei member in his chest. So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's how it ended. But all right, let's take it from the beginning. Whoever wants to start, go ahead. Because this shit was kind of crazy. Um, I will say I really like... It, person, if you want to okay. go, yeah. My bad. Uh, I really like the new Vegapunk invention uh, with his uh, little like Vegas. cloud tank. Um, okay. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, I like the fact that we're still getting some new Vegapunk tech because as soon as like the siege started happening, I was worried we were going to slack off. And some I thought so too. Stuff. You know, I felt like it was very front loaded, and then we haven't gotten new inventions. So it's nice to see something new. You know, I, I greatly enjoyed that. And, no, that's true. Uh, I I'm like on that. I like seeing how fast Sanji can go whenever he gets serious as well. It's a good reminder that it wasn't just a one-off. No, I agree with that as well. I, I liked Bonnie's near-death uh, experience thing because, like, you know, we don't know necessarily, like, what Bonnie can do. She's a supernova. Mm -hmm. Not saying that this move would hurt Kid Law, Killer, any of, any of, any of the top guys, but, you know, this could maybe get a poo. Uh, I think it because it's a mental-based attack, it's kind of like Perona's Hollows where, you know, like... Fucks with anybody? stuff. Yeah, or, you know, or at least I don't think it's 100% easy to shrug off. And between mm. that and, you know, how you're talking about later with uh, the Ride Ride fruit, Paramecia's this chapter were doing really good. Paramecia's my favorite fruit. I feel like they've been slightly overshadowed by Mythical Zones a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a bummer. But I do love, Very like, even so. if some of them are one-offs, it's nice to, like, see the Paramecia's come out. Because, like, the Ride Ride fruit almost feels like a sister to that Whip Rip fruit that we saw happening on uh Oh, on yeah, 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 you know? Right. And then also those kind of feel like they're like slightly lesser versions than uh uh you know the granny's fruit, you know, with her uh, her it, wash the evil out of your fruit. Is it bad that I think they're part of the kink crew, the impel down whip lady, the cage Hina, and then the ride <laughs> ride old lady? That's the kink crew. 
You know how, how devil fruits are made from dreams? It like, said, it said that devil fruits have a will of their own. So, I mean. <laughs> was it like the horny <laughs> motherfuckers in the One Piece world making these fruits? <laughs> you can just say Jazz's name. I don't know why you have to. Forget. Why do you got to be? I wasn't, like, I wasn't talking even talking about. about I wasn't even talking about our guy. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, this is a zero out of ten chapter because I don't think I saw Doll this chapter, so I'm sorry, Jazz. That Other is that. true. That is true. No Doll this week. Hey, look, we only, we only, no, no, we got to see her in like a tad low panel. Oh, oh, he look. clocked it. I should have yeah, known. He has, it. he has oh, the Sanji hey, right look, look, look. just for Doll. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Look, <laughs> my my lady radar is only second to Sanji. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> look, can we give you Sabo? Know? Can we give Sabo major props? For standing in front of all these evil motherfuckers and just like taking all that aura. Cause like if everybody who turned around in that panel turned around, that shows and like some guys' heads getting exploded. Like, what? That is crazy. Also, to your point about Paramisa, it's like, yeah, the mythical zones are coming in. It's like maybe being stronger than Logi at this point. Like we see what Luffy's doing, we see what this guy's doing, we saw what Kaido can do, Marco. Like it's like mythical zones are kind of OP right now. Yeah, like I am both excited by the fact that we have a mythical zone and also like somewhat disappointed because I'm like, if we if all the elder stars are mythical zones, then like on one hand, cool, because I do think that would fit thematically with what Luffy is now. But at the same time, it's like these fruits are rare as fuck. And also the admirals get in discussion because admirals are all vaguely elemental and they're all logia. So if the Gorosei really are over admirals, even if just by story sense. importance. Then that means Logia are now, in my opinion, kind of at the bottom, <laughs> which you never would have thought from early One Piece. Well, I mean, look, I'll say this: normal zones are at the bottom. Let's be yeah, real. That's the <laughs> like, like all the dogs, the bulls, the yeah. the cats, the the you know the pels. Who want to be them niggas? <laughs> like, unless you're like a Rob Lucci type of fighter, even if you awaken, there's no guarantee you'll even be like of a mid. Tier, exactly you know what I'm like or maybe who's who because you get the saber tooth but that's like that's mythical I, I, like a certain like so mythical still like above like with the dinosaurs yeah. and shit but yeah, like ancient is still pretty strong i yeah. still hold um uh, i still hold the belief yeah. that if i had dalton's fruit being the bull man i could make yeah. that work i think i think it's just because they didn't get a good fighter but i think if like you were a a centaur human kind of like as you're as you're mm. like um hybrid and you have hockey, I feel like that one could work. And I feel like if you had a bear zone that could work, but like any of the bird shit, kind of fucked. Unless you get an eagle. Uh, well, you're only, I mean, like, you're only gonna get flight, huh? Yeah, yeah. You just gotta be a very specific type of fighter, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot of doing what Luffy used to do, which is a lot of dodge. True. You know, a lot of calling your shots or whatever. You're not you're definitely not a tank, but I think if you're strategic about it, you're good. True, true, um, true, true. Now that being said, we did see that Pell tank to nuke, so <laughs> you know you can't forget That's that. True. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see if we're gonna you, see if the live really action out. makes that a thing because I feel like his ass about to die. <laughs> yeah, I think it's real KFC hours for Pell, <laughs> yep. unfortunately. But let me ask you, okay? So I'm just gonna say because you brought up the other Gorusei, I, 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 so I was looking this up and of like Japanese, you know, crazy mm -hmm. uh, Oni. And the one that, I, cause Eam is spelled is backward is like Umi or some shit. So I looked up the mm -hmm. Umi Bozu, and I think it's crazy because that thing gets stunned by like a barrel floating in water. And Luffy started off the show as a boy in a barrel floating in water, and like you know, there's like just these parallels, and like that thing controls the sea. I didn't look up the others because like who knows what the others are, but I did look up that one. Um, and I will say there are two different types of Onis that Jay Garcia could be, the simple ones, the Ushi Oni, where he is like, it's a bull Oni, but it's half spider, but there's a lot of things that are part spider in Japanese mythos. It, can it fly? Like, I, I, I was seeing like people say it could fly, like it could do all kinds yeah. of shit. I mean, I will say, he seems to be able to summon himself. And <laughs> no. for his grand entrance, he did do kind of like a slow summon, but I think mm -hmm. that was literally just for an entrance. Now, let me oh, ask like, you. Know, like tension, yeah. Do yeah. you think that, okay, you see how it has the number five on it? Do you think mm -hmm. that each Gorosei is like numbered a certain number? And like when they, if they mm -hmm. pop up, it would be like four, three, two, one, et cetera. And like they are the five fingers of Eam, so to speak. And then, yeah. Like, and then Eam's Mr. Zero, too. 
Oh uh, yeah, exactly. Like or yeah, that'd be cool. like the five devils of like like hell with like Lucifer, mm-hmm. uh, BLs above all that shit because of the pentagram. I, shit. I actually think it. I actually think it'd be cooler if all of them had like the five. To be mm-hmm. honest, yeah, I agree. Like because like, because that way it's like I we like don't that. have like a necessary way to like power them because i don't again i don't really but see think, i don't like, i don't they're... i wouldn't want the numbers to be like a ranking thing i just viewed it as like yeah yeah exactly just like, like i just viewed it as like a like how like the mafia has the five sense, uh, like... the mafia has the five families and they all represent yeah. the hand they close together to right like, exactly I, like I viewed yeah. that as like a mafia thing like each family's equal like each gore stays equal they're just just a number you know what i'm saying but i see what yeah, you're totally. saying about making them all five because these one piece youtubers will definitely use that number shit as a power scale so let me ask you guys a question. Yeah, it would make it, it would make it, it would make it kind of all uniform. I have a question, and that is so I will admit to being well, I don't think I'm wrong yet. I still don't think the Gorosei are necessarily all about it. I can admit they're strong. We have three factions in the Marines right now that all fall into some sort of line, and ultimately at some point you can either say they're relevant, they're relative, or they're not. Mm-hmm. We have the Gorosei, who evidently can fight, I guess. Facts. Or at the very least, they have strong zones. It cannot be argued they're old, and their zones are strong. These are awakened. If he's awakened, they probably all are. They pro- that and, means yeah. you have to be right. able to throw hands, or at least used to be able to. That's a fact. You know. Then we have the Admirals, who we mm-hmm. know are fucking around. Luffy is taking an Admiral right now. Luffy is not leaving Kizuru to go fight the Gorosei currently. Facts. And I don't think he can, because I don't... He's the only one who can even kind of suppress Kizuru. No one else can even do it. No, you're right. You know? Right, exactly. Uh, and you know, people were bringing up, and I will say I was mildly annoyed about it, but people brought up uh the fucking God Knights and Garling, which I mainly is cool, but I don't know, like if there's a peck in order, I don't see the Gorosei being under God Knights, you know. I see it as I don't you know Gorosei God Knights. And look, I'll say I'll say this. I see it as Gorusei God Knights slash Akainu on like uh, on the e- same e- like level, and, like, and you could even field. say maybe like Kizaru's on that playing field, like Garling and um and uh, Akainu are like the top, and they may have some other God Knights that are like the levels Relative. of like some of the Marines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm not gonna try to I'm not gonna try to say like oh just because you're a God Knight you're stronger than the Admirals. Like like Garp's probably equal a God Knight. Like I'd say Akainu um Kizaru's probably equal a God Knight. Maybe Fujitora. Maybe even Torque Bull, even though I don't like him. Shout out to Doctor Voodoo. Every time I say that, I got to do the TM. Shout out to Doctor Voodoo. But um, mate, I don't see the Vice Admirals. Anybody lower than Admiral is being competent to these people. It's like they're in that weird position to where, like, think about. Dra- oh, go again, on, my bad. Like, go ahead, dra- Jazz. Yeah, it's like Dragon name dropped them, so it's like they have to be a threat. But then again, you know who else was name dropped as a very significant group? The Flying Six. <laughs> yeah e, right so e, and, and I also the ninja should, core like, should subvert expectations a little bit true true, true yeah true. exactly they could so just be I, i'm not i'm not saying the they revolutionaries can't be... they could just be opponents for them so right and that's well, not I, I think they're also relevant because they seem to be a defensive force that's why i think dragon notes yeah, exactly. because it's like because you know they want all the smoke but they want to take it to Mary Joe's. Yeah. They 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 bring the smoke when it's time if you're fight fucking with the celestial dragons. But I will say like do I think like a vice admiral like smokers a vice admiral. That guy couldn't fuck with Virgo. We're so past Virgo now. Like I do not think the vice admirals can even comprehend this this shit that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. Only Vice Admiral that gets actually good shine. It's Garp. Has yeah. and, we know, and we know it's in like, name only. Exactly. Like, like literally. literally does not count. The more I find out about this world, the more I understand why Garb didn't want to be Admiral. You think Garb didn't know about these Gorusei motherfuckers? Like, you don't think he could sense them? Like, he was not about to be a fleet Admiral or anything like that, bro. He did not want to deal with these fucks. Through the screening process of, like, interviewing to be an Admiral, he actually had to go up to Mary Joa and actually meet with the Gorusei. He saw those pentagrams in the back of their room and was like hell nah we not this. doing this he's like, like y'all don't smell this fire and brimstone going on right here y'all don't smell this absolute evil like, this shit is crazy bro that that dude looks insane like if i saw that like, in person i always think like kaido would be terrifying but kaido at the end of the day is like a lizard like i could convince myself that a lizard that a lizard a large large lizard isn't terrifying but if i saw this nightmare fuel 
I'd be like, bro, Glenn, <laughs> you, you got, live you in a got, place with the gators. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think. That's why I don't think Kaido is would be terrifying. I just see him as a big crocodile. This nigga, I don't know what well, I would also, do. Also, I think it's the. Also, I think about your guy in also, your video. I think it's like the added uh, <laughs> Josh. Or what was his name? Jim. <laughs> that poor homie got fucked. Damn. <laughs> in Jazz's video, that was great. That was that was sad, man. Rest in peace, John. John, that was his need, name. John. That. And John, oh, oh boy, John, going for just the that. designer. He just wanted designer. Look, he just wanted a designer and to his little sailboat. That's all he <laughs> wanted to do, man. He he didn't have to go out like that. But I mean, I think one of the things that I think is most interesting <clears throat> that he says he says like it's been a long time since he's mm-hmm. been to the surface, mm-hmm. and you know. When people say like when when I when I saw that people were just kind of saying like oh it's been a while like I guess immortal he's, he's, <laughs> like right since he's been on the same like f- like you know kind of ground as like mortal beings but then I'm like remember what they said about like how you could lose like your will to your fruit if you're mm-hmm. not careful enough yeah. so what if like these are like actual like devils right yeah they could just be. take out Capital the fruits D. the entire yes. like. Take out the fruits entirely, which could probably bring more significance to that summoning circle to where it's like it has to to where it's like maybe they can't activate the fruit on their own. Maybe they like literally have to summon the devil to use it or like use it as like a medium, kind of like how sorcerers and JJK use like mediums for like Shikigami and stuff. Like or that. I mean, it could be a case of this straight up isn't a fruit user or anyone who's contracted with a devil. Like, okay. this could be his actual form, and he could be glamoring to look human. Could be very much because, so, you know, because they also do that a lot. Like, uh, dragons have that ability in autumn mythology, demons can like take on the guise of humans. Because it doesn't say, never where does it say Saint J. Garcia Saturn, user of mythical zone, whatever. Oh, he, they pulled a Kaido, yeah. they did not say what his yeah. fruit was at first. This, I mean, look, it could be a father situation, like going to Full Metal mm-hmm. Alchemist Brotherhood, like, like Verse was saying, this couldn't be a fruit, they could be like. I'm not saying homunculi, but they could all be like demons that that work for the ultimate like devil being uh eme. And like maybe the gods of the universe gave devil fruits to like combat these fucks. Who knows what the what the fucking poneglyphs are gonna say? Who knows? By the way, just because you know, I know like we're kind of like blowing uh blurring a little bit through the chapter, but I did want to say uh clutch move by Sanji, like you know. Oh man, bring he, up the he, I mean, well, yeah. I'm just saying he did find Bonnie and he did save her at light speed, which is very he good. Did. And he didn't even he didn't even, like listen. I'm going right now again through the fucking you know. I just got past the bus time skip. Whenever Sanji is arguably at his worst, especially oh, yeah. when it comes to women, because literally, if he sees a side of a boob. He's flipping his shit. That's going crazy. Yeah, I, I had to skip Fishman Island in my rewatch because I just yeah. did not want to see my guy just bleeding all the all day, bro. Just... Sanji was not in Fishman Island. Don't he, he wasn't there. <laughs> I was mistaken. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your eyes play tricks on you. He was moving too fast. Now the queen the, the queen uh you know the queendom just dropped him off at uh, Punk Hazard. That's what happened. Yeah. He just they were bros there. for that. They, it was really cool of them to do that for him. Mm, yeah, got, you, uh, got you, got you, got you. He got in a little bit extra training. It was great. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Uh, but no, like but, you know, as much as I hate to say it, and, you know, I hate to reward just not being a bad person, uh, he did save Bonnie and told her, you know, you should value your life more without making it any sort of pass or anything. You know? Like, and, and we and can't I, deny, I, Bonnie's a good-looking woman. Also, Although, I will say the mm-hmm. fact that he tried to tell her about, like, I know he's your father, but you gotta keep your head in it. Who knows better than Judge's son? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Giving yeah. some wisdom to your point. Like, you know, he did not hit on her. He was trying to, you know, actually be a genuine helper. Yeah, you know, and, and I think it's a lot of like because we had been without the shots in a group for so long, but this is generally Sanji's role. He does support, he saves, he comes up with a strategic plan, and then he handles his own fight. But he moves across the battlefield, he helps people, he saves, you know, gen- like, you know, whenever he saved Zoro after Zoro was falling from the thing, you know, like this has always been what Sanji does, and I like Sanji at his best. Um, I still would like to get a little flashback of what happened immediately after he was fighting against uh, like Jinbei Seraphim. Yeah, you know, I would. Oh, like we that not because... that. That's done. 
I thought you were about to. It only, it you... only might, it only might come up, and, and I only think it'd be a thing to where, like, okay, hypothetically, I'm not saying it happened, but it's like maybe Sanji has to like you go on the defensive and you know use Efri Jambe or whatever, and so mm-hmm. you like his um his eyebrow flipped when mm-hmm. he was fighting yeah. S Shark. Um, they might go flashback to that and be like, oh, his personality is changing a little bit because it seems like. The way that Sanji's being portrayed in Egghead seems a lot different. And I know that he just had his whole, like, Mm -hmm. you know, arc in Wano, but it seems like Sanji is a lot more grounded, but in a a way to where it's like, but in a way to where it's like, where is this coming from? Is it from him or is it from his genes activating at the same time? Could so have been, he a, like, you know, a little acceptance. You know, he accepts himself. You know? Like, he let that well, let that family shit go. But I'm going to say this. You Sanji fans smoking dust. <laughs> y'all smoking dust. If y'all man, think wait, we getting on. a flashback. Let me just call a speed a speed right now. And I'm a Sanji fan too. But I got to represent the Zoro Targe right now. They smoking dust, y'all. If they think we getting that flashback. I want a Ed flashback Shark. for all <laughs> we're, them, we're getting the most I think we're going to get is the Kuma flashback. Egghead. We're not getting none of that earlier shit. With none of them. None of them. None of the pacifista. None of them. That shit is over with. I need to I figure know. out who I need to figure out who messed up Kaku bad. Actually, I don't really care about any of the rest of them. But like, who who messed up Kaku? What do you mean Kaku was left alone to fight the Seraphim one on one because fucking everyone bounced at the same time and Kaku had to hold his own. That was messed up, dude. Why did they have to do that to Kaku? Like, Kaku. and then he immediately got bubbled. <laughs> and he wasn't even necessarily trying to start anything. Like, you think we in the middle? Of this shit, and we're going back to that. Now, when we get to our bets, I do have some good bets to to where yeah. I do think we'll get the, the Kuma flashback right now. Oh, yeah. I think definitely. we're in prime, we're yeah, in right. prime territory for that based on the ending of this chapter. Mm-hmm. But like the Esh, I feel like the fucking Well, it doesn't have to be a whole flashback. I'm saying no, I feel you. I feel panels. you. I could just be like again, a panel. And I do mean that like for like or two. And I do mean that for everyone, by the way. Again, it's not just Sanji. Oh no, no, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that the the I forget what those things are called. Those little children. Um, the seraphim. The, the ser- I feel like the seraphim the- shit. We passed that for right now. Oh, do you guys want to talk about how uh, Doctor Megapunk kind of was like Doctor Cube in verse? Oh, a white man making these small, small tanned yeah. children. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. And that's right. how you know he's a good guy because he did the other thing. It's he like, did the bad thing. Yeah, that's no. Crazy. I look, look, look. I, I, <laughs> he and my theories for this week too. Like my bets this week are gonna be prime. See, Jazz got me really deep because he he hit this week. I gotta hit this week. Y'all got Bro, any... I'm gonna be honest. I was really just throwing that out there last week. I didn't even. Think it's okay. Was... I didn't you, think they'd be in the but same. You, but you hit. And that's also, it. All, all also, that wait, can we talk about? Can we talk about just like size difference? Frankie is a big dude. That's what I'm saying. I would be terrified like, of this thing. I'd be like, terrified. Like, nah, nah, bro. That thing is huge, bro. That thing is like bigger than Kaido in man form. I think it's bigger than Whitebeard. It looks he's, like it looks like he's double the size of Atlas, and Atlas is also Atlas is like huge. huge. Like that's one. Like yeah. this thing looks like it's Hyrudine size. Like I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't bigger than Hyrudine. Which, like, like you know, theory aside. Like, you know, after this chapter, Dragon 100% has to pull up. If Dragon <laughs> doesn't pull up, like, mm. and I, and I, and like, you know, I was kind of uh, against this idea because I'm like, okay, I want Luffy to handle this as his own. But when, you, when the Gorosei came out and, you know, we really didn't know what he was about before this chapter, now I'm like, okay, yeah, an external force kind of has to come. Like, they could Somebody. already be off the, they could already be off the island. But Luffy's what I'm saying Bianca. is like, Luffy is, but see, right? But see, Have you started to consider Luffy as a Yonko? No, I'm with you. No, no, he is, but but like, but I'm saying like they right could already here. leave. Like, the, they could already leave the island, but somebody has to deal with this. I don't think, as much as I love Luffy and as much as like he is a Yonko, I just don't think he's at this point yet. That's what I and, and see. I, also, I don't think he's just at this to, point. Yet. Just Wait, to hold, add on, to this. hold on. Are we putting Agorose above Kaido? He fought. This is the man who won v one Kaido. I no look, I get you. I get you. What are we I doing, just, boys? We're feel, already walking back Kaido. I feel no, 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 you I'm agreed. Saying, no one, no one individual person was gonna You're be stronger right. than Kaido. You're right, but see, I'm I'm coming at it from this perspective. Like he's fighting Kizu. I don't think nobody else in the crew 
and this is no disrespect to Zoro, there's no disrespect to Sanji or Jimbe. I don't mm-hmm. think they can hold their own against Kizaru right now. Like it might take like two of them. And like, I agree. And it's like, not even yeah, necessarily a power thing. It's literally they cannot stop him. That's what I'm saying. So, like to me, the issue isn't the Goru say, right. the issue is Kizaru. So, yeah. like, and and then Rob Lucci's there and he's no slouch, and we see Zoro gotta fight oh. him. Like, but like, but like it's still like a thing. Like, so mm-hmm. like it's like that's why I feel and when and see, I'm not gonna say Dragon's not in my bets this week. Not to oh, I guess I guess we can. Give our bets if you want, because this I don't this know goes 10, to, 9, 10 99 Your dragon bet better be crazy. Is it? Look, it's coming for ten for, 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 for ten hundred. But for right now, we got to we got to ease into it because Oda don't like to give us our food right away. So mm, I think you're right, you're right, you're right. Kuma's coming next chapter, and I think due to Bonnie stabbing this nigga in the heart, like she bought she she gonna almost be about to die, and I think her daddy pull up for his final act. And we get some Kuma flashback time. I think he gonna see on see he gonna pop up on the Gorose, and we gonna get some Kuma flashback time. That's my ultimate bet this week. And then my 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 small bet. Can we see some Zoro Rob Lucci? Like I'm gonna keep betting that is my small bet every week. Like, can we please see? It's a very it's a very safe it's a very safe bet. It's like, so to be safe, but it hasn't uh, been safe these weeks. Uh, I will say, having Kuma being able to like. Do Papa away the Rose and then have him resummon himself almost immediately would answer a lot of questions all at once. It would do a lot. I think. It would. It would. But that being oh, said, I, I think. Okay, let me put it. Let me say, if Kuma manages to show up, I do think that increases. Like, manages to show up and decides he's going to be the one to stall some of these people. I do think Dragon and maybe Evo can show up. And we get the original Rev band back together. Look, you see where I'm going. That's it. You see what we what we coming? Lin laying the groundwork. I had this theory a, a long ago in Egghead, and we're laying the groundwork now. But the <laughs> only way that it makes sense is if also though Dragon Hasher finally reveals goddamn devil fruit, which I oh, assume is just a storm logia. Me too. But we have to just he has to just say it out loud, or we have to literally be able to verbally see it. Because if he I'm just shows you. up there and we don't fucking know why. Then, and then it's gonna raise a big question of how did Kuma, who can teleport, almost vaguely teleport, how did he get here? You so know, fast? have to no, take the you. long fucking way around, but Dragon can just get there. No, you know, you. without the same power. I Dragon look. I think. The, I think we're gonna see breeze. it. <laughs> I think. I think we're gonna see it, but it's not time for Linda to place that bet. Jazz, read my mind. Ten a thousand. Ten well, a thousand one hundred is on the horizon. And I oh. think that's when I'm gonna place the bet for that. By the way, I will say one thing against it. Uh Dragon has never showed up to save Luffy once past the smoker thing. He does not care about his son. I even True. watched the Great Terminal chapter. He did not pay Luffy no mind. No, you're right. You can't tell the... me he didn't have observation hockey to hear his son crying out you in right. the flames with Ace. But I that's why I, I let the groundwork happen with Kuma, because I think mm-hmm. the fact that it's Kuma. Maybe Bonnie. Oh, maybe. dude, dragons. Are it's it's dead Kuma. <laughs> it's Bonnie. It's Vega Punk, and it's Luffy plus the Gorosei. All of all the people he care about, with Luffy being also, at the bottom. <laughs> also, I feel like he's not. Also, I feel like he's just not going to skip out on like a free Gorosei, like because they don't because they don't come out of their room. So he's that, like, you know what? That was my original, wanna, that was yeah. my original theory. Was like the fact that this nigga is out on sea. If my guy Dragon doesn't strike, then he pussy. <laughs> wait a minute, yeah, hold he on. Definitely wait. has to try and collect a scalp. Wait, <laughs> isn't like, Big Morgan? Do wait, wait, isn't Big News Morgan's like somewhere in close proximity? Because and he was like, able to hear the call too. Exactly. So we it might not even the news. Be, we, this is like, the I incident. think he might. I think Big News. No, uh, the big news Morgans actually might catch like Dragon fighting a Gorosei member oh, on paper. On the did the incident no, dude, that no, shakes no, they, the world? No, they have they have the big the big stream set up. They're gonna put this on Twitch for the entire world. Remember <laughs> the instant beam it to everyone. If everyone in the world sees what a Gorosei actually is, and second of all, if they do that and their brains don't pop like this fucking random marine, that gives us a lot of information on exactly how that shit works. Also, True. how does how does that work? Because okay, when I first saw it, it reminded me of oh my god, I can't remember the politician's name from the boys, but you know, oh she yeah, has the power she to that, yeah, I know yeah. you're talking about the, yeah, the one who's the, yeah. yeah, the senator who's basically AOC, but not yeah, yeah, facts. yeah exactly. she's clearly she's who like she's evil after evil. Yeah. 
Well, we don't. But um, I mean, it's not a boys' review. We don't know if she evil, but we look. We'll, we'll oh, it. we don't know if she's evil. She just popped what, a million what, fucking what, skulls. Well, did you see this? Did you see the season? Do you know why she's popping skulls? I mean, yeah, we. I know why she. I, didn't, I haven't skulls, seen. Like, I haven't seen. Okay, Jenny well, Bates. okay, but you get what I'm saying about how you know she was brainwashed. I uh, see. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil things for the. But this is not a boys' mm-hmm. review. So you like, gotta, you gotta put the, boy, the boys is very now. the boys oh. is very much like right is wrong and wrong is right and vice versa. So it's like who you know. You know about mm-hmm. Giancarlo Esposito. That's all I'm saying. That all I gotta oh, say yeah, is that, his name. That nigga is that nigga's evil in every <laughs> role he plays. It's crazy. Dude, he I, it I well want too. him. Quick aside, I want him to be Professor X just so he can so, be a hero. So many people, but want still, him to be Professor but still, X. be a little dark with it because you know X ain't perfect. But... No, not at all. But, oh, yeah. but again, yeah. this is this is not. That. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. yeah. This is not a boys. <laughs> okay. It's not a boy. But like I said that because I say that because like is it like is it like. I wouldn't say connected to hockey, but it's like if it's a if it's a if it's a byproduct of his devil fruit that can be advanced like enhanced by hockey. Does this mean that it could just like affect anybody or anybody in the area? See, I think Verson has a great point that if this gets streamed, that'll tell us a lot about it. Because see, I think that this is like I don't want to say conquerors, but like I think this is something along those lines of in maybe yeah. with his power to where you gotta also, have like a kind of a, a limit to your I will also, to be I like also able think, to see yeah. Exactly. Gotta that's, be some bullshit. that's why he said Marines over a certain thing can view him because like you said, their will is strong enough. So I think it involves well, that I I don't think it was because he wanted to protect the Marines. I think it was just like Anybody above a certain level, you are fucking fodder to me. If you even mm. look at me, I will kill you because I can replace oh, you. Oh, you like think that. he killed? Okay, real. You think he killed? Uh, okay, yeah, I see. I, I thought it was. I think it. Okay. okay yeah, because we literally get the panel of what the hell is that? Is he some kind of monster? And he says, Quiet Run's supposed to look. And then you see him willfully do an eye gleam. And then the like, other yeah, guy's like, he head gleamed. pops. And also, his, his head pops, but the guy who was warning him doesn't. So True. it seems like it was targeted. Nah, he had he had True. beef with that marine. He was like, he looks like a, a monster, and he was like, "What'd you say about me?" That's a good point because yeah. I I forgot about the um, eye. Gleam. And also, I will say, like, it has. I think it has to be at least somewhat relative to the area because I do I do I, think that too. Well, because I'll give you this, yeah. Lynn. Like, I do think Sh- uh, Shanks probably has the best hockey in the verse, or at least is top two. I don't even know who I'll put up against him. Shanks has very powerful hockey. He doesn't have like. Hockey, where if you live streamed him yeah, on, no. you know, on World Star, <laughs> you know, it's gonna cause everyone to Me do at my whatever. house. <laughs> yeah, and also again, if we, the One Piece world would be a lot different place if everyone who's just a normalized human got it beamed in their head and their heads popped for it. That would actually make Vegapunk the world's greatest monster. Mm-hmm. That's worse than any Buster call for just the sheer amount of people in the world who would die because. 90% of the globe is just fodder. And personally, yeah. I don't think the Gorosei want to do that. Like, I don't no, think their goal they... is to kill everyone. They want to rule everyone. So, like, he's not about to yeah. just live stream and just say, oh, I'm killing all the people. You know Yeah, we know that's a point of contention with the Gorosei and Eve. Because the Gorosei were even like, I don't I don't know about doing that to Lucia. Like, like yeah, mm-hmm. destroying mm-hmm. Lucia, man. Like, can we just, like, subjugate them or something? Yeah, can <laughs> like, we, like, <laughs> weld the rebellion? Like, they, they just rebelled. We can get it back. Exactly. And then he was like, "Fuck that!" and "Fuck yeah. <laughs> Give me your uh bet, Jazz, and then we'll get Versus bet. Okay, so, damn. Okay, damn. So let me do my safe bet. So my safe bet, my safe bet is is Kuma backstory. It, my okay, my oh my god, how do I say it? So my safe bet is Kuma backstory, and then maybe maybe we get to like. Maybe we get to see, like, you know, just, like, a little bit more Bonnie. Like, I feel like it would be more of, like, a Bonnie-focused chapter. Okay. And then okay. Kuma shows up at the end, I feel. Okay, okay. Um. So my crazy bet, my crazy bet is we, my crazy bet is that the gang that's all down there, like, Frankie, Sanji, Vegapunk, now Luffy. So Sanji has to clutch up. Again, <laughs> the return of Mr. Prince, but he's not going to fight. He's gonna use his speed and get everybody to out get of him that. out to get him out okay, of it. Okay, okay. Because we've been you. seeing speed feats from Sanji and look. I see you. I see you. Okay. Time. And I like that. It's we have a good barometer because we have the fastest man alive, Barry mm-hmm. Allen. I mean Kizaru. I mean Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, before we get to verse, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna get verses because that'll only be fair. Then I'm a, if verse doesn't say what I also mm. I'm thinking, I'm gonna set a I'm gonna set a parlay to where I got mm. my crazy bit, my my not crazy bit. Then I'm adding another crazy one to it. But go ahead, verse. This is only if you don't yeah. say what I'm thinking. For the record, Jazz, that's what I was gonna tell you earlier. I think you got your bet. I don't think you got your parlay. Is nah. how I thought about. The oh, that's a good point. But that's as long point. as um, as long as I got my bet, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. cashed out. I say, he cashed yeah. out before yeah, it he hit. Didn't, he didn't win the double, but he got Mm-mm. the the prize. Uh, okay, so actually, Jazz, I was really nervous about what you were gonna say, but I think my safe bet is I think the Straw Hats are gonna stand a motherfucking fight. Okay, because because like a big thing about because what I kept saying with why people can't fuck with Kizaru, he's strong, but it's not just because he's strong. It's because no one but Luffy, because he has two magic, can hold him. Because Kizaru is not trying to fight, he's trying to assassinate, and then mm-hmm. maybe he'll fight after, but he has a mission, mm-hmm. and Luffy's the only one right now who can, you know, play keep away with him. He's the only one who can guard his man. He's doing his nine I, to five. Yeah, I think the Straw Hats, unless there's some magic or some teleportation, this is a big creature. The Straw Hats can fight big monsters. We've seen it before, true, true, true. you know, and, okay. Luffy, like you know... That. Like this could be our return to Thriller Bar, kind of like an insular uh insular island mm-hmm. kind of a thing. This could be our new oars. Okay. So I think I like the rest that. of the Straw Hats are gonna bit. have to I think they're gonna have to stand and fight. I like that. Um, that's a that's a really like just to let you know if it if something like that happens, that's a good hit. Like I see I see where you're going because this is also like it mirrors Saba Odie, like so thriller mm-hmm. bark Saba Odie. We're connecting these things because they flew into each other. I see where you're going. I hey, like this, that bet. This is a high this is a, that's a high cash out. That's like a D and D situation. Mm-hmm. Uh I also I will just say, because I don't think we necessarily gave her proper props. I spent too much time saying shout out to Sanji, but I loved Bonnie the Chapter. I loved almost every panel with her. I think Oda put extra time into it, especially that last scene. Dude, I looked uh to my partner, you know, because we're a big fan of Bonnie, but we just got to the little mini part of uh, you know, post uh Sabodi where Bonnie gets immediately fucking captured. And we were like, it's kind of sh- a shame how the one female uh supernova got immediately taken out, you know. And mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I'm super happy with this. I think this is awesome. I think she's great whenever it comes to just duking out and fighting. I don't think, you know, I really want to see how her arc resolves. That being said, for my wild card bet, the Vega Punks step up. Mm, okay, I like that. I, too. I think the Vega Punks, especially because on some level, you know, the other Vega Punks, you know, the other Vega Punks obviously do, uh, have some individual free will or whatever. Just like how, you know, um, you know, Bonnie has her own free will and uh, Stussy has her own free will and, you know, Sintamara has his own free will, but they do care about Dr. Vegapunk and they do feel indebted to him. I think of their own volition, I think the other Vegapunks are going to step up. Debatably, and if I'm going to do a parlay, I think if that happens, I think that means that there will be a bunch of people who won't be able to look after York anymore. I think York might go and try and pop them bubbles. Mm. Kaku's bubbles and the seraphim bubbles, which can get to them. Oh, okay, getting okay, okay. I like that you parlayed into a good way. You didn't parlay into mm. what I was thinking, but mm. I will say I'm gonna parlay into what you're saying. Just how jazz parlayed into mine, I'm gonna parlay into yours because I like what you're saying about the Vega Funks doing something that could lead into what I'm thinking. They could form some sort of Gundam. Heck, even the giant robot can appear. All of that mm-hmm. can happen uh, of science lore. But somebody has forgot to def- about the it, giant robot. Oh my it, God. By the way, somebody has to defend Luffy because he's and like, look, yeah, probably he's, out. And probably that might be the giant robot. All this science stuff is happening. And you want to know why it's happening? What, what's it going to lead to? As they're trying to save, you think they're winning. Uh, whatchamacallit, St. Garcia goes to kill Bonnie. Vegapunk steps in, old man Vegapunk, and dies and dies. I'm getting us to Dragon one way or another through Kuma or through Vegapunk's death. We're getting there. And your Vegapunk step up, they doing a masterful job. They're Gundaming, they're doing Samurai Sentai, they're forming the shits. They're just science, science, science. And you think, oh yeah, they're going to win this. Nah, 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 this is a Gorse. He's going to strike Bonnie and Boom, Vegapunk steps in and dies to protect her. I turned your father into a monster, and I'm going to sacrifice myself for you, Bonnie. I'm sorry I did that. And we find out Bonnie's real age, and she's like eight. 
Yeah. That's um, the parlay. Please, God, don't let her be eight because that's <laughs> yeah. going to make me regret everything I thought about that NDE chapter today. <laughs> That's yeah, I was also going to say, I was thinking while I was saying it, by the way, it's very possible that they're backing up Sanji being pervy with her because they're getting ready to reveal. And then Sanji's going to be like, internally, I knew <laughs> I that she was a child. And that's why I saved her, but did not comment. You know, Sanji's, so, like, Sanji's like, I've been through this rodeo before. <laughs> yeah, he's like, listen, I'm smashing that movie to bits. All right. <laughs> we got a lot of good bets this week, fellas. I think by the way. I would like to see the Vegapunks fight him at least a little bit because then you have like a science versus a mythology mm, versus some magic. Too. I like where you're right. going. Mm. I I like where you're headed. I I saw that vision. We connected the dots, baby. I'm with you. I like it. So I think we got some good bets this week. I'm excited to see what happens. Crazy shit. No break, and I'm shocked by that. So that means next Same. week. Next yeah. week's gonna be yeah, heavy. To be honest, that's what that means. That this upcoming week is either is gonna be real heavy. So. Look forward to that. Um, it, any better final... be straight, it better be straight Kuma backstory. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Any um, final things y'all got before we get up out of here? Yeah, I just want to say, since we're talking about science versus mythology, there's another android in the schmix. One Mr. Vin Smokes Sanji. <laughs> This guy, man, the Sanji stands. Look, I'm helping y'all Zorb Tars. I'm telling them we're not going back to that shit. Dude, like... it's Hellfire for Stiavo Jambi. Come on, E for Jambi. Come on now. <laughs> Look, I get you. you. Know? Who better uh, yeah, than the hell, king of hell? Hell, imp, hell imp versus hell? Well, well, yeah. hell like, well, then, two then, two then, nasty then, men. Well, two look, nasty look, men. Look, Zorb Tars, I got you. Yeah, Why he's would you be... use the hell imp if you want someone to tame hell? Call the king of hell. <laughs> he's too busy beating up some pussy. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah, he gonna true. finish that off. He go, the king of hell has to come stop this hellfire. So you know. Shout also, out to wait, him. we didn't. Also, wait, we didn't talk about that. Just, just quick tangent, I guess. Like, okay, so if if this is if this is like him, so say this is Garcia, like summoning his form from hell. Um, does that mean Zoro's been tapping into like possible hell this whole time? Possible. Like, well, I want to bring this up. Brooke got summoned. I mean, well, not actually summoned, but people, the people who summoned Brooke at the start of the time skip were trying to summon a devil. They were. And they used right. the same fucking thing. Zoro and, could they, be and whenever, into... yeah, and granted, they only did it, like, they only tried it again because they thought they summoned Brooke. But, like, they did, uh, whenever Brooke got kidnapped by the record producer, they tried to then summon another devil immediately afterwards. So, and we didn't see between that, that and Kuma having the Bible, like, there's some stuff going on in there. And I will say, Zoro saw the Grim Reaper. Maybe, like, mm -hmm. the, there was some stuff again made a deal. Who knows? Like, yeah, that's true. In the, anime that, in the anime they made, when Zoro saw the Grim Reaper, that, he looked like he was in Hueco Mundo. <laughs> so, I mean, look, we may finally be getting supernatural. Well, I mean, Thriller Bark, but you know what I mean. Well, really yeah, supernatural you know, in one the, piece. The, this might be the out and out, uh, we're not pretending anymore. This is real ass magic for real yeah. ass dudes. But I by mean, the way, look, I did see dolls. I saw the doll. It makes sense if in the science technologically, showing they're super technological, you can also show that one piece is super magical. If there's any like art to do it in, I mean Yeah, Vegapunk himself said, by the way, like we are we're all expecting a hard science explanation for double fruits from Vegapunk. And he was like, the first thing that came out was like dreams mm -hmm. don't die and we're like make a punk what the fuck does that mean <laughs> no you're right explain yeah, okay. it like, what are you talking about somebody like, dreamed of being a jacket like what are you like, yeah, what are you right. like about, show me the math equation where a man became a jacket you can't tell me that the kink crew didn't think up the ride the whip and the chain <laughs> i didn't realize that <laughs> I didn't realize that we were actually in Fasha's Home for Imagining Friends the whole time, but that's my bad. I should have figured that out. Hey, look, we're going to get an Ancient Kingdom. We're going to get an Ancient Kingdom Void Century flashback, and it's going to be the Kinky Five. That's and it's going to be saying. all of those users of those, of those fruits. <laughs> the King Crew, bro. We see them they in the Ancient Kingdom. And, and I guy. guess, I guess Dahl would be the equivalent of Frankie Foster. Look, look, kind of like punk, kind of all. That's, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god, <laughs> she's actually the command. She actually just has hockey. Like that's all she has <laughs> because she's the only one that has to be grounded. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If they gave Doll a kink, a kink fruit. She'd be a little too powerful. I think look. she might be actually under Garp in terms of power. I don't know, look. but then again, if she is just pure hockey, then that's a whole strong woman thing that you know that you, you have to get down with. with. Yeah, I'll take she, it. 
she's part of the king crew even so that way so you know just saying but all right everybody that's the episode this this episode is titled the king crew <laughs> just tell the people they can follow you on social media <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> if you don't want to be kink shame, you can follow me on Twitter, <laughs> Jazzy Boy. You can follow me on Instagram, Jazzy Boy. You can follow me on TikTok, Cornell D. God. I see, I see the 4D chess played by that right there. <laughs> um, versus tell the people they can follow you on social media. Uh, real quick, can I ask something dumb that I just noticed in the chapter? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Whenever the summoning happens and we get uh, the five elders, the magic circle appears with the Uwa. Um, the most peculiar sight, something is coming. We have the smallest vertical slice in between two panels. That usually, like, you know, and granted, it looks like it flows perfectly into the next one. Is that to denote that that middle slice is not someone who's marine aligned? Because it's a different perspective? It looks like it's cut. But it's a, but it's a slice, though. It's a, like, they kind of just made it one whole picture. I know what you're saying. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm pulling straws. I don't know. The, I'm just saying. Sh- maybe the, sh- the ship. Maybe that's what similar. The... Look, I'd say. I'd say if it looked like a log, I'd give it to you. All right. Well, then maybe maybe they got on the boat. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, I, I anyway. see where you're going. Okay. Well, where you can follow me and my insane theories. Uh, you can follow me at Versus the Vassal on Twitter and also Instagram. Where you can follow me uh, by searching my real name, Joshua Tosclair. Uh, currently, not much going on. Um, got some big things happening. Uh. But all that will probably happen later. Um, so, you know, I'll keep you all posted. And uh, thank you all for the support. Hell yeah. Make sure you all follow Versus and Jazz. You can follow me at LimbyWT. Follow Bros Nick at Bros Think. We got more videos coming. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the YouTube. And um, until next time, have a good one. And peace. Peace.